That is why I'm calling fluff a little bit on the biomarker game because it's not giving you long-term indicators of your health. And if you care about longevity, it really isn't. It's a screening minute to minute. Does that make sense? Yeah, so how do I know when I'm looking for which blood test to get, what's a snapshot and what's not? If it is, so let's, we'll kind of break this down. So the reason why these tests are powerful is because we want to know immediately if somebody is, for example, unconscious, we want to know what is going on. Is their pH off? Is their kidney function off? Are they in liver failure? Are they anemic? Is there, are they grossly dehydrated? Are they septic? They've got white blood cell count that's high because of massive infection. We want to know in that minute to minute. That's a useful thing. We are mostly cells. We are a little bit of circulation, but we are mostly cells. So when we are looking at stuff that's in circulation exclusively, we're missing an entire discussion about what's going on in the cells, what we are mostly made out of. So if we're going to talk about the biomarker game and say, oh, really, biomarkers, what we're saying is, for me, as a clinician and trying to give value to people and to be able to guide them appropriately, we want something that's going to be, what is a function? How is something really functioning and or what is going on in the cell. So some examples of that would be, do you know how your cells actually withstand oxidative damage? So when we talk about free radicals and people talk about coenzyme Q10 and taking extra vitamin C and all these things that take basically the rust on a car that's happening in, in the cell, in our, in our body, in the equivalent, kind of biochemically, to go through and scour that out so the cells don't get damaged, what is your actual antioxidant function? Most people can't answer that. And it's a specific test. It's not an algorithmic test like a lot of stuff that's out there floating. It is a specific test to know with your cells faced against a damaging agent, how can it do? That's really important. That is really important. And so there's that. And now we're in the season currently of massive flu, massive virus overload, what would be more important than looking at a complete blood count as far as immune function? I would say, I want to know, is my immune response robust, one, and enough for my age? Is it age appropriate? How do you do that? Well, you get a test that actually looks at your T lymphocytes and measures the rate of cellular division. T lymphocytes have a nucleus, just like if we took a biopsy of our tissue and we said, what's in it and how can it we put it in a petri dish, can it divide a nucleus? That's what T lymphocytes do.